In this and the next two videos, we're going to look at how you can change the shape and size of the various cells within a table. First, I'll make a table exactly as I did in the previous video. So I'll make a small cell, center it horizontally and vertically, frames and pictures, make a table. We're going to use the current size of the cell and just as before I'm going to make it three across and five down. So that's a quick reminder of how we made a table before. The first thing to notice is what happens when you right button click. Right button click changes from being in the mode where we can move it around to the mode where we can type. And a left button click enables me to click in any cell. Right button click, move it around. Right button click again to change back so that I can write and then I can click in any cell. Let's just have a look now at what happens when we're in adjust mode. If I go to adjust mode and I left click, it highlights the whole table to move around. If I right button click, it will highlight a particular cell. Let's just do that again. Go back to create mode. Left button click. We can click in any cell to right. Right button click gives me the yellow drag points. Move it around. Right button click again and I can write. And that behavior is exactly the same as for a single frame. When we go to adjust mode we can't write in adjust mode at all, so a left button click enables me to move the whole frame and a right button click will highlight a particular frame. And we'll see why we want to do that a little bit later. Let's go back to create mode now and I'm going to click in this cell and let's suppose we want to merge this cell and these other three around it. Some mechanism then I need to highlight all of these four cells. What we do is we left button click holding down both control and shift. So I'm pressing down control and shift and now I'm clicking in this cell and you can see we now get another dotted line around that cell, another one around this cell and another one around that cell. So we've now got these four cells each of which are highlighted with a dotted line. If we now go to frames and pictures I can click on merge table cells and it will merge those four together. Again I've now got the yellow drag points I can move it if I right button click I can now write in this cell I can expand to fit so we could do uh, a large put in shirt there and we can put in a large picture in that merged cell. If I want to unmerge, if I make a mistake, it's best first of all to delete the contents in the cell. This is highlighted and we can simply go to frames and pictures and unmerge the cells. Again when we unmerge we get the yellow drag points if we want to move it. Right button click so that I can get back to clicking again. So in this way we can merge any group of cells we like. I'll just merge the top three just to repeat the process to, in order that we might make a heading. So we click in the first one, control and shift holding down, click in the second one, click in the third one, frames and pictures, merge table cells. Right button click and then I can get back to writing in this cell. So maybe we want to expand to fit there and let's suppose this is going to be some sort of timetable and tells us what we do in the morning. So by selecting more than one cell together we can merge them and if you want to unmerge them get rid of the contents make sure the cell that you want to unmerge is highlighted and go back to frames and pictures and unmerge table cell. Then we get back to where we started 
right button click so that I can write.